Okay, so we've only waited about five minutes. I don't want this to dry too much and start to set up, but I want it to do a little bit of the puffing action, which we've got here. You can see the lines are not as visible as they were. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my stencil up. And hold it down while I take the tape off so that it doesn't move it. And I'm pulling the tape back on itself again so it doesn't move things too much. Main thing about stenciling when you're applying something through a stencil is just not to get everything to jiggle around. Just lifting up and not going back down because I don't want to mess it up. Voila! You can see how that came out really nice and clean. I've got a little bit of a spot over here. I'm going to use my wet towel while I've got it and just clean that up. And if I had a little teeny wet artist brush, I could just go in there with it wet and just get that one little bit that, that I overlapped, but the rest of it is nice and clean. And the advantage of glazing or waxing or going over it with a crowning touch afterwards is we'll be able to blend that in a little bit um, and make it go away, the little part that isn't perfect. But the rest of it is nice and clean. And you can see where it started to puff up and it's becoming three-dimensional. And if this were a cabinet door or a piece of furniture, you now have got some interest on a piece that may have been a very boring piece um, with no detail at all. So that's one fun thing you can do with it. We'll show you a couple others here.